Hey there, everybody. You can certainly tell that uh, I haven't gone to get a haircut in a while because my hair is getting crazy. So today I want to talk to you about noise canceling technology, um, not in headphones so much as in microphones. So recently NVIDIA released what they're calling RTX Voice, and essentially it's just a small application that does real-time uh, sound analysis and removal of background noise. So I just want to talk to you about what it is, how it works, and should you be using it. Thanks for joining me. Let's get going. Okay, so to start this off, I'm going to turn off my RTX voice and then I'm going to turn on the um, AC unit in the window over there. Uh, yeah, my office has an AC unit and window specifically because my computer just dumps heat. Like the house is centrally cooled, but we still have, yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to turn off my RTX voice, turn on that AC unit, and give you all the background noise that I would normally have on a regular day, and we're going to compare that to what we're hearing uh, with RTX voice on. Oh. Okay, yeah, so that's nice and noisy. So this is just, just the Yeti, just going straight to the computer. I'll show you this with the Yeti. Uh, first and then I'll show you this with the RTX voice and I think the biggest difference is if I show you um, the sound from my webcam directly and then the webcam with RTX voice. Webcam that I have isn't exactly shabby um, but the mics on it I don't think they're super great. I've honestly never really used them but we're gonna test the difference between that as well. Alright so test number one here is just going to be um, the Yeti straight in. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that's how it's going to sound with all my background noise. The fans on my computer run and the AC unit. I'm going to switch that uh, RTX voice back on. Boom. And I can immediately see that my mic isn't peaking nearly as much. Um, and if I stop talking, the level on it goes all the way down to zero. Whereas before it was hovering right around negative um, 35 to negative 40 uh, for the sound that's actually in the room right now. So this is the sound from the Yeti through RTX voice. Now we're going to try it with the webcam. Oh, hi Oliver. Oh Lord. Oh God, that's bad. Yeah, so as you can see, the microphone on the camera is a lot more sensitive. I have the gain on the Yeti turned like almost all the way down so I can just get right up on it. But the microphone on the camera is picking up way more sound than it, it even should. It is just slamming that six, de six decibel mark and just staying pinned. Um, even with RTX voice on, which I just turned on, if you didn't hear the difference there, which I believe you probably should have. Um, this is with RTX voice on through the webcam, not through the Yeti. Yeti spaghetti. And our RTX voice. Okay. All right. So we're back here um, using the Yeti for the RTX voice. So the sound should be a lot cleaner. Now, what you may notice about it is it sounds slightly electronic and a little bit wet. Um, wet is just the term that I would use because that is the term that Audition, uh, Adobe Audition, has kind of taught me to use for this specific sound. How it, it, it almost sounds kind of electronically gurgly. I. I really don't know how to describe it, um, but if you can hear it, then you know what I'm talking about. So what's happening in real time here is about the equivalent of what I would do normally in post using Adobe Audition, um, where I would actually pull out that uh, kind of hum, that bass layer that you'd hear, the air conditioner, the fans, or if we're outside, just kind of the wind, this, the general atmospheric sound that you hear. Uh, you pull that out. And then you can clean up your waveform after that. And I would use in Audition what is called the podcast voice setting. Uh, I'm going to show you guys that in a second here. I'm going to record a little piece of video just off of one of my DSLRs. So we're not going through all the fancy electronics here. And then I'll show you how I clean that up manually. All right. So I'm just using the built-in mics right now on my uh, Lumix G9. And that is going to give us a baseline of... Uh, what bad camera audio is going to sound like. I honestly don't know how good the mic that's built into this camera actually is. I never use it. I always use my uh, video mic. So this is going to be pretty much baseline. So this will give you an example of uh, how we can clean up that noise 
or any room noise really that's consistent um, out of this video in post, which is what RTX Voice is doing in real time. So the important thing here is that when you're doing this for your video in post, you want to uh, take room tone. Now this can be like five seconds, but I find that a good 10, 15, 20 seconds actually will go a lot further to uh, actually clean up the audio without having a bunch of um, electronic anomalies in there. That should be about all we need for that, and let's bump it back over to uh, Audition. All right, so I just finished pulling the video into Premiere. I cut it up, um, edited it however I wanted it, and I rendered out the audio. So we're going to pull the audio from Premiere, dump it into Audition, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of that background noise. So here is our Premiere project. I have already separated the audio from the video, and we're going to go edit clip in Adobe Audition. All right, so we've brought our clip into Adobe Audition, and down here you can see at the end we have our room tone. That's going to be the first chunk of this, because even if we listen to it right now... We'll give you an example of uh, how we can clean up that noise, or any room noise really, that's consistent. Um, I the only thing more annoying than the background noise in this video is how many times I say um, so I do apologize for that. But what we're going to do here is highlight our room tone, shift P, or you can go up to Effects, Noise Reduction and Restoration, and then Capture Noise Print. And you don't have to Control A to select all, I just do because I'm paranoid. Um, and then I Control Shift P. And that's going to bring up our actual Noise Reduction window. The other way that you can do that is go back to Effects, Noise Reduction and Restoration, and go down to Noise Reduction Process, which is Control Shift P. So here you're going to see your actual noise reduction window. I have it set around 50% right now, and I'm pretty happy with the results this has been getting me. You can adjust this. What you're not gonna wanna do is overcompensate and go too far, otherwise you're gonna get very garbled electronic sounding vocals. So it's kind of about finding the happy spot between how much noise reduction you're actually getting and how electronic your voice is sounding. I found 50, 50 to 60% is generally pretty good for what I'm doing, especially when it's a pretty clean tone like this room is. You can see that the baseline here, this noise print shrunk down a lot, so it's still present, but I think this is gonna get us the cleanest results without actually starting to sound electronic. Noise really that's consistent um, out of this video in post, which is what RTX Voice is doing in real time. So you can definitely still hear it a little bit in the background if you're looking for it, but it's not as distracting and I'm going to be pretty happy with it for our purposes here. If you do want to give it a second run through, if you want to minimize that even more, then you can actually just, just run the entire process once again. Boom, and it's going to make it even smaller. All right, so I'm just using the built-in mics right now on my uh, Linux G. But now you can kind of see it's got that kind of electronic warbly wah, 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 kind of sound to it. So I'm actually going to undo that because I'm happier having a little bit of room tone than I would be sounding electronic or uh, having a fake voice there. So we're going to save this, close the program. It's going to automatically make the changes in Premiere. And now our audio sounds... Um, so this will give you an example of uh, how we can clean up that go. noise or any room noise really that's consistent um, out of this video in post, which is what... So uh, I'm very happy with the way that sounds. Like I said, there's a little bit of room noise in there, but I'm happy that the voice actually sounds natural instead of that kind of electronic garbled uh, version of it. You may notice that the RTX voice that I'm using now actually does sound a little more electronic than this clean audio, and that's just because I do have my RTX voice actually set pretty darn high. I've got it set, uh, I don't know, 65, 70%. So as you can see, RTX Voice is doing a lot of work in the background. Everything that we just did to that one single little clip in Audition and the thing that I would do to every other clip that I actually work with that has any background noise, RTX Voice is doing in real time. One kind of drawback about it is you have to have an NVIDIA card. Technically it is called RTX Voice, but there are ways that you can get it to work with GTX cards. I think I've seen it work with something as old as a 480, so definitely check that 
that out, I'll uh, throw a resource in the description below if you're interested in that for an older card. All in all, though, I do recommend using it if you are really using anything where you're communicating. And these days, that's almost everybody, whether it's Zoom, Skype, uh, Discord, anything like that, that you are trying to talk to people and be understood over the noise of your house and uh, whatever may be going on in the room around you. Even Room Echo is going to be diminished by this. So if even if you live alone, you have no pets, but your computer is in a very echoey space, that's going to be a very noticeable thing unless you cut that out. And noise reduction via RTX audio is an excellent choice for that. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I hope this was informative for you. If you have any questions or want me to go further in depth on the audition stuff, then let me know in the description below. I might just make a video just about uh, cleaning up your sound. It's something that I have been working harder, harder on lately, just because video is my forte, sound is not. So it's it's an interesting journey for sure. Um, but uh, hit all the buttons if you want to see more content like this. Once every two weeks, a video comes out, and uh, it's kind of a flip of the coin. Luck of the draw, what kind of video it's going to be. Anything technological is viable for this channel, so who knows what you're going to see, and maybe it will help you out in the future. Thanks once again for watching, and have a wonderful day.